You guys look like you're in a beautiful place. Where are you? We're in LA in our sunroom. We're in our baby's room hiding from our three kids who are screaming bloody murder in the living room. <laughs> Tell us what quarantine looks like for you. Is it just the two of you? Are there pets? We have a long distance relationship and he lives in New York. I live in LA, but he's currently stuck in quarantine. And literally he only has like four outfits because he didn't plan on staying in LA for this long. It's actually been really nice. This is the longest time we've ever been together also uh -huh. um, at a time. And then it's like both of us travel so much for work. So it's been interesting to have like an actual routine like wake up in the morning and do our own thing without like waking up in different like um, hotels so professionally how are you guys uh handling things you know in quarantine are you are you able to take care of any of your professional obligations remotely <laughs> well, no, no, I mean, not really everything is a little paused right now so i'm taking he's a, a chance. photographer yeah by trade, so for him it's pause yeah it's pause things are not really happening but i'm taking a chance to like read more you know like just like just focus my my brain on something else at the moment and amy what about you are you able to work yeah i'm still working because i'm an influencer and i also yeah. have my own brand song of style so um influencer work is still very busy because i feel like everybody is at home they're turning tuning into influencers my brand has slowed down a little bit song of style um it's funny because we, I design in advance and then we, like, when we're coming up with outfits and clothes, there's like a theme. Like, I think about like in April, it's Coachella month. So like, it's going to be a lot of like festival inspired pieces. And then like May, there's like some lounge pieces where like, if you're going on vacation or if you're like in Capri, like this is what I want to be wearing. And now I'm wearing all those clothes inside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, you have a perfect audience of one to appreciate when he's not in a book. Correct, yes. <laughs> and then he has to take like mini breaks and take like my photos. Like I'll bother him here and yeah. there. And how are you guys getting along stuck in quarantine? I think the first week was hard, to be honest, right? Oh, uh, yeah, a little. He said that I don't have any boundaries, which I don't have any boundaries. <laughs> and we're so used to like having long distance. And then when we're together, like spending so much time and cramming that in. But then again, to me, like in the very first week, he was available all the time or he's here all the time. So I'm available. literally like I would literally every five minutes or every hour, I would bother him or I'll be like, do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And he's like, we need some space. We need clear boundaries where I'm not, I am here all the time, but I'm not going to be here 24 seven for you. That's so, like whiplash though for a long distance relationship because your thriving as a couple has been in spurts of yeah you know qu uh, quality and then spread out so to be all of a sudden on top of each other that's literally like whoa 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 <laughs> during the day like we're doing separate things and then lunch we always have lunch together and then after lunch he goes and reads his book again <laughs> <laughs> i'm handling business and then in the afternoon, we'll try to squeeze in a workout together, mm -hmm. an evening dinner, and then we watch our TV or movies. Now, you mentioned two things. You, the having meals together. Are you guys cooking? How are you handling the food situation? And what type of workouts do you do together? Yakupu cooks a lot. So yeah. I try to cook sometimes, but he's a way better cook than I am, being Italian. <laughs> Um, so like even right before this, he was cooking so that after this, we could eat together oh. and then pre-planned. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I like, I'll sometimes like clean the countertop or the dining table. So light up I a eat. candle. I light the candle. <laughs> <laughs> the only hard work. I did the hard work. <laughs> the presentation. The ambiance. You set the stage. Exactly. Yeah. And for then the I eat it with a grateful heart. <laughs> and then thankfully he does the dishes too. <laughs> I do a lot of things, yeah. Very awesome. I like I like to procrastinate, so I like to put the deep dishes and think about doing them later in the evening. And he likes to just get rid of them like yeah. immediately. So I'm like, okay, yeah. sure. I get rid of them while, while I cook, you know, so it's a whole process. Mm. That's the, he's the one that does the you can watch where he's been by his trail of <laughs> hot <laughs> pants. <laughs> And when I come in, I'm like, what happened? He's like, hey, I just cooked. And I'm like, 
when I do that, it's also clean. It is funny. Yeah. Every time I start cooking, I endeavor to be more like Sarah and to prep perfectly and not create that chaos in every time I fail. So it's clearly like hardwired in me. Yeah, yeah. same. I could, I could relate. <laughs> We have something called the quarantine quiz, which we'd like to go through with you here. Who asked who out first? <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> How did that happen kind of organic? I think it was me. Yeah, maybe. I think it was me, but it kind of happened organically, but it, I, I think it was me. I love to see people stumped by this. I like the point. It, it was me, but it was a soft ask. So I was just like, you know. Yeah. Checking. Now, who initiated the first kiss? I think it was me again. Okay. Yeah. Who said I love you first? I don't know. I think it might be no. I feel like maybe at the same time, we just looked at each other's I think eyes. so, yeah. That was organic too, yeah. Okay, that was it. Who's the romantic one? Me. Huh. Well, you're romantic. Yeah. I would have guessed Italian. <laughs> no, I'm going to guess the girl that has no boundaries. That's me. <laughs> We're all love all the time up in your yeah. business. <laughs> now, um, who's the first one to say I'm sorry in a fight? Me. <laughs> I hate fights. I can't fight. Can you tell us your favorite thing about Dami? It's hard to pinpoint the favorite, but I, I would think, uh, well, the, her smile is amazing. Her energy, you know, she's a very positive, a person. Po positive person. And I think I feed off that positivity, you know, like there's always a bright side to look at with her, which I think it's, it's so important nowadays. Now, Ami, what's your favorite thing about Jacopo? That he's a pessimist. <laughs> 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 Complete opposite. <laughs> he's, a, he's so realistic. So, cause I'm such an extrovert and I, I feel like everything is going to be fine. And literally everything is like rainbows and like, Everything is perfect. And then Jacopo, sometimes he's like, gives me the reality check. But I think it's a good thing because I realize that, you know, not everything is always just like rainbows, you know, like I'm just more of a realist. And sometimes I really need that. Um, also, he's super patient, extreme. I've never met anybody like more patient and understanding, like so understanding and very encouraging too. Oh, that's the best in a partner when you find your cheerleader. Yeah. Awesome. Who's better at TikTok? Me. Definitely, yeah. Now, I would ask you this, but I feel like, Ami, I know your answer. Comfy clothes or glam chic? No, actually, I like comfy clothes that are glam. Like this. Like, super comfortable, but still looking chic. Very diplomatic answer. Yeah, she kind of grabbed both of those answers and made yeah. a baby out of them. <laughs> but Jacopo yeah, likes comfy. Yeah, comfy. He's only wearing black. Well, he only has four outfits right now, so let's... Yeah. And they're all black. black. <laughs> yeah. Who's the better driver? Jacopo. Yeah, he's Italian. Uh, he could literally park anywhere. Well, like, any tight space. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I have short temper on the road. He doesn't have any road rage. It's it's insane. I'm like, you're like a serial killer. Uh, like that person just, that just, that person just cut us off. You need to honk at this. And he's like, no, let him go. And then I'm like honking, like trying to cut people off. Yeah. yeah. You're like holding your back. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then like if somebody cuts me off, I'll obviously flip the finger. And he's like, why are you doing that? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who is the messier one? She's, <laughs> I mean, hundred times more. <laughs> Who's the bigger baby when you're sick? You. Me? When you're sick. Really? Yes. Because, huh. like, you'll have, like, a little cut and be like, baby, look, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper, over or under? Over. Always. Regular amounts. No, over <laughs> as in, like, do you know when you put the rose oh, in? Oh, like, shit. Over or under. <laughs> that's that's the, the worst. <laughs> You might have just gone into the Hall of Fame for the answer on that. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that was a, a legit question. What is I it? didn't either until we started doing the Put it on top where you can put it. Yeah, when you put the toilet roll where like the oh. outside sheet is like on the I, outside. I, I don't think I ever in my life even thought so, of it. Same here. 
I want to say I'm shocked. As long as you not. have the toilet paper, it doesn't really matter the way. I'm uh, over. Are you over? Are you guys over? I'm in over. I feel over is the only way. Otherwise, you end up always end up doing this, like to try yeah, to. Get it. I always wonder what kind of person is a vendor. <laughs> like I just don't get it. Probably like, a serial killer who can park in small spaces. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, do you guys have any guilty quarantine pleasures, whether it's eating or activities? Lots yeah. of eating. Uh, like, lots of eating. Lots of eating, like way too much. It's so surprising <laughs> you're thin because we're joking that a lot of people are putting on the Corona 15. Or That's me in the beginning. And then now I'm slowing down a little bit. And I think also in the beginning, like when the whole quarantine was happening, uh, just like a lot of anxiety too yeah. cause with work with whatnot and um yeah like i actually i used to have an eating disorder and it also manifested in like binge eating a lot yeah but thankfully i do a lot of therapy so the first three weeks was really hard i was binge eating so much so i did gain a lot of weight and then now um, we're, I'm working with my therapist on intuitive eating so just like listening to your body and not just eating like breakfast, lunch, dinner, or like um, avoiding like snacks. It's just like thinking about like, hey, what am I feeling? How am I feeling right now? What do I need to eat? What is my body craving? So that's helped a lot. Mm -hmm. And then working out is helping yeah. a lot. I mean, we don't work out long. We only do 20 minutes a day, but that's still better than nothing. That's all you need really to get your heart going. But I think with anxiety, uh, in general, people that don't have anxiety are feeling it now, but I deal with anxiety as well, you know, which kind of links all into, you know, uh, eating disorders, et cetera. And I think you, it's the first time you trigger when you go to things like this, it sets off old patterns and yeah. coping mechanisms that you'd grown, you know, habits of, of kind of self-medicating in a mm -hmm. sense. So I get that. Do you guys I, have I a, a quarantine cocktail of choice? You have your dessert. Oh yeah, I just, I, I love ice cream with, um, scotch. So I would pour scotch into my ice cream. Really? <laughs> yes. Is that Italian? Well, Is for, that Italian? I don't know if it's Italian or, but I always did it and, and try it. it. It's amazing. Try it with like a scoop of vanilla ice cream and just pour some James on, on it and, and it's delicious. Well, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us in quarantine. Um, thank you. Thank you. You guys have been great, and I, I think it's a great sign that being apart, you still want to be closer afterwards. So the fact that LA may be home base for all of the above means you're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for having us. You guys are great. Really enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Stay safe. <laughs> you, you too. too. Bye. Bye. Bye.